It doesn't get any easier for Everton. After their midweek shelling in Italy, they face one of the Premier League's early pace setters. Jose Mourinho's Manchester United are the opponents as Ronald Koeman's side look to bounce back from a trio of defeats at the hands of Chelsea, Tottenham and Atalanta. It's a day of reunions at Old Trafford, the Blues coming up against two former record signings in Marwan Fellaini and Romelu Lukaku. Both have been in the goals of late, too. Worrying. On the other side, of course, the game will see Michael Keane, Morgan Schneiderlin and, of course, Wayne Rooney returning to their former club. Rooney is the only Everton player to have scored a league goal this season, and will be looking to make an impact against the club he represented with such distinction for so long. Team News Seamus Coleman, Yannick Bolesi and Ramiro Foons Mori are long-term casualties, while Jordan Pickford is expected to come back in having been rested in midweek. United are without Paul Pogba and Zlatan Ibrahimovic, while defensive duo Eric Bailey and Phil Jones should return having served suspensions in Europe during the week. Point one 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 two Neil Jones We've picked our teams. You can pick yours below. To use our widget to select your team click tap here 1106 Neil Jonas This is a quirky little tale from Chris Beasley, one I admit I knew nothing about until yesterday. Basically, in 1997 a young Evertonian called Robert Armstrong spotted that the shirts worn by Everton's players differed from those being sold as official replicas. Front page of the Liverpool Echo from 17,091,997 showing Robert Armstrong and his Everton kit story An embarrassed Umbro who manufactured the kit were forced to act quickly and declared that it was the player's kit that was wrong and the thousands of replica shirts that were right. The sports marketing manager Simon Marsh said at the time we don't know how this happened, but new shirts are being sent to the club. To the club's credit, the unused kits were then auctioned off for charity with the proceeds going to Alder Hay Children's Hospital and two decades on Robert is now finally set to meet his favourite player Duncan Ferguson as a reward. 1100 Neil Jones Not Nice Manchester United star Romelu Lukaku has become the latest victim of thieves targeting luxury cars at Britain's third largest airport. The £75 million striker, 24, lost a key fob belonging to his £250,000 Rolls-Royce ghost after it was snatched from his Mercedes which had been parked near Terminal 1 at Manchester. Police found the fob to the black and white 155 miles per hour supercar along with two United season tickets belonging to two fans when they arrested a teenager for stealing from other cars. The raid on Lukaku's Merck occurred just days after 130 car keys and four vehicles were stolen from a meet-and-greet parking firm used by Manchester Airport passengers. 0056 Neil John S. M. Luckhurst at the Manchester Evening News has written this piece detailing a few things to look out for today, includes Ashley Young, Fellaini, Lukaku and where the game could well be won. Anthony Marshall started against Leicester, Marcus Rashford started at Stoke and Marshall started against Basel, Sir Rashford should start against Everton. Mourinho's rotation on the left wing has worked well so far and the two young forwards already have five goals between them all but one coming by the substitutes bench. Marshall was United's weakest performer in midweek but has tormented Everton in the past and they have problems at right back without the sidelined Seamus Coleman. Whether he or Rashford line up, the match could be one down United's left. Anthony Marshall with Mason Holgate during the Premier League match between Everton and Manchester United at Goodison Park on December 4, 2016 photo by John Petersman United via Getty Images 1053 Neil Jones reports today suggest the Frenchman will miss up to three months with a hamstring injury. A boost for Everton, and anyone who wants United to struggle, Paul Pogba reacts to being forced off through injury during the UEFA Champions League Group A match between Manchester United and FC Basel at Old Trafford on September 12, 2017. Image photo by Lawrence Griffiths Getty Images 1036 Neil Jonas If Everton are to get anything today, then stopping Lukaku will be of paramount importance. The Blues players know exactly what the Belgian is capable of, of course. Here's Leighton Baines talking about facing his former colleague, it is one thing knowing it an opponent's strongest suit and another thing stopping it, ultimately, he has been successful because he is good at what he does. For all players, there are certain situations that suit you better than others, so you know that about every player, you do your analysis leading up to a game. You look at the opposition, you know the things they like to do as a team and individuals. It is not much different having played with him, because of the depth of coverage we receive of opposition teams, we will be aware, but he is a very good player and someone who we will have to be at our best to stop. 
Romelu Lukaku and Leighton Baines 10-24 Neil Jones just in case you were worried. Point one oh two four Neil Jonas There's been a fair amount of criticism aimed at these two players of late. But Ronald Koeman speaks sense here, in my opinion. Yes, Klaasen and Ramirez need time. They need time to adapt. I heard stories about Mitayan who needed a full season to understand and to improve and he's a fantastic player. Maybe yes, it's too many new, a young players who need time and with the fixtures that we have they will punish you if you are not ready. Davy Clarsen and Sandro Ramirez 1005 Neil Jonas it's all the rage, now the shirt sleeve sponsor. And Everton will have a new one today against Manchester United. Angry Birds. Honest. Angry Birds will be Everton's first ever shirt sleeve sponsor 1002 Neil John So we know what the big narratives at Old Trafford will be today. One will of course be Romelu Lukaku, as he takes on the club which helped mould him into the Premier League's most expensive player. Ronald Koeman, predictably, was asked about his former striker at his pre-match press conference on Friday. Here's what he had to say, I don't say impossible but that was close to impossible to get someone in who will score that amount of goals that Romelu scored for Everton. With Romelu we had enough fights about how he needs to press, how he needs to run, how he needs to move but in the box, with opportunities to score, he is one of the best. It is always difficult to replace players like him because of the person he was, the physical boy that he is, the number of goals that he scored. It is difficult, you try to find it around the position with Sigurdsson, with Rooney, with Klaasen, with Ramirez, we didnt sign the striker but I am not that person that keeps discussing that we don't have the striker. We need to do it with Sandro, we need to do it with Dominic Calvert-Lewin, Wayne Rooney can play the number 9 and we need to change some things. That is what we tried to do and to get more goals from other players but, yes, it is a big miss that we don't have Lukaku anymore, but everybody knows that. Ronald Koeman chats to Romelu Lukaku during an Everton training session at Finch Farm on April 20, 2017 photo by Tony McCard Leverson FC via Getty Images 0948 Neil Jones Shello All, and how are we on this crisp Sunday morning? It's match day for Everton. Excited. Don't you dare say no it's a 4pm kickoff at Old Trafford as Ronald Koeman's under fire blues take on the mighty Manchester United. Their away record under Koeman is not great, of course. Is today the time to change that? ITD certainly be nice to get one over this fella. Jose Mourinho looks on prior to the Premier League match between Manchester City and Everton image Michael Regan Getty images O, oh, and this one. Manchester United's Romelu Lukaku reacts to scoring a goal against Manchester City during the first half of an International Champions Cup soccer match in Houston. Image app photo David J. Philip and him, Marwan Fellaini during his Everton days image Chris Brunskill Getty images.